Welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to enhance the power of your HP Z2 Tower G9 workstation, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll guide you step by step through the process of installing or upgrading your graphics card. Whether you're working on graphics intensive tasks like 3D modeling, rendering, video editing, or real time ray tracing, this upgrade will take your system's performance to new heights. Let's jump right in. Removing the access panel. First, let's remove the access panel. Place the machine on a flat surface with the access panel facing up. Locate the release latch on the back of the machine, pull it, and slide the panel backward. Once it's loose, lift it off carefully. Removing the PCIe hold down bracket. Next, we need to remove the PCIe hold down bracket. Find the release tab at the front of the bracket, press it to release the lock, and then lift the front part up. With the bracket free, carefully remove it from the computer. Installing the graphics card. Now let's talk about where to install your new graphics card. The HP Z2 Tower G9 comes with several PCIe expansion slots. You have one PCI Express X1 expansion socket, two PCI Express X16 expansion sockets, and one PCI Express 8 expansion socket. For maximum performance, especially if you're setting up a dual graphics card configuration, you'll want to install your primary card in one of the PCIe X16 slots. Keep in mind, your HP Z2 Tower G9 supports only certain graphics cards. Here's a quick list of compatible models. NVIDIA T400, NVIDIA T600, NVIDIA T1000, NVIDIA RTX A2000, and NVIDIA RTX A4500, NVIDIA RTX A4000, NVIDIA RX A5000, AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT, AMD Radeon Pro W6600, AMD Radeon Pro W6800. For today's video, I'm installing the powerful NVIDIA RTX A5000, one of the best choices for rendering, AI, and high-performance computing. All right, let's get that new GPU installed. First, locate the correct PCIe X16 expansion slot on your system board. If you're installing the card into a vacant slot, you'll need to remove the appropriate expansion slot cover from the back of the chassis. Simply pull it straight up and away from the inside of the case. Now that we've got the right expansion slot, let's get that card in. First, line up the connectors on your GPU with the PCIe slot on the motherboard. Gently slide it into place. Make sure it's seated properly. Pro tip, be sure to reinstall any slot covers you remove. This helps with internal cooling during operation and keeps everything secure. Now that the card is in place, it's time to hook up the cables. Don't forget to connect any external power cables to your new graphics card, and if necessary, connect internal cables to the system board. Lock the PCIe tab. Install the PCIe hold down bracket. Once your card is securely in place, it's time to reinstall the PCIe hold down bracket. Just align it with the bracket slot and snap it back into place. Reinstall the access panel. Finally, it's time to put the access panel back on. Slide it back into position, making sure it clicks into place. There you have it, folks. You've successfully installed or upgraded your graphics card on the HP Z2 Tower G9 workstation. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. I'll catch you in the next one.